Recently, not recently, in November, we signed up for a giveaway by IBM, which was a, a TLO drone giveaway, and luckily we won it. So that was incredible. We actually won the giveaway, and here the drone is. Yeah, we got it a couple of months, so I was waiting for it to make a video, and here it is. So if you don't know what the TLO drone is, is that a company called Ryzen, they teamed up with DJI to make a cheaper version of the... Um, DJI drones for a cheap, like much cheap price, like hundred dollars. And the best part is that you can even code this on your own and make it move as the way you like it, and even control it using your phone. You don't need those big high scale controllers. So before I open this up, let me see, I'll show you what the features are. So over here it says three minute max flight time. It has precise hovering. It can shoot five megapixel photos. It, it has electronic image stabilization, which is excellent. So you won't have those shaky videos. It has 720 HD transmission, which is okay. It's HD, it's not the high scale 1080p, but you know, it's better than nothing. So again, you have multiple flight modes, which is excellent for because it's cheap drone, easy operation. It has the um, tablet and the phone logo over here because of course you can control it using anything you want. And again, it says a programmable with the Tilo SDK, which is, <laughs> okay, so if you want to buy the drone, the link will be down in the description. So let's go. So I did open the seal, so it'll help us, you know, to unbox it. So I'm going to open it from down because it says open here for the accessories. Let me see, let's see what accessory you get. Of course, you have silica gel, which is incredibly tasty. Oh, that's how it opens. Okay, that's cool. So of course, you're greeted by a massive booklet. And I don't want to read this. But next bedtime storybook though. And over here is what we have. This the battery for the drone itself. Let me see if I can open this right now. There you go. Okay, so here's the battery, pretty light. And of course it's gonna last only 30 minutes, not much. And these are some extra tips. Extra blades if your drone does break. It comes with blades, right? Yeah, they're extra blades. Cool. That's what it's like. And if I open this, yeah, this should come out. It's great. Okay, so here is the drone itself. Ooh. Wow, that's some that's a pretty quality drone. So this is how the drone looks. <clears throat> okay, so over here you have the camera, which again shoots 5 megapixel photos and 720p HD video. You have your four blades, and over is is where the battery goes. Let me put that in. With the battery, it's a pretty light drone, actually. Okay, so this thing goes like that. And of course, there you go. And of course, as you can see right here, is the micro USB port. You, you do not get a micro USB cable with this but it's presumed that you own one. So yeah, you only need the micro USB cable for sure. If you're to 2019, to 2019, T00, then you'll be having USB-C. So yeah, that's one negative point of the desk. You need you micro USB. So we're gonna take them away. It's pretty light. By quality, not as good as a DJI, like a Phantom, um, the pros and all those kind of which cost like a thousand dollars again, just ninety nine dollars. So, if you do want another color or something, it does come with an EDU option, which is like a black color, and not not much difference. If you are really keen on controlling this with a controller, if you I'll link the site down in the description, but you do get these accessories. You can see over here. I don't know if you can see the camera. So it says it comes with a remote controller, it comes with battery charging hubs. So you can have multiple drones, you can charge them with the battery hub. It even has some table snap on top covers. And yeah, it says it's 14 plus and 15, so pretty cool. And yes, it does work with iMovie. So if you're really keen on editing those videos which you made with 
the drone is really gonna work on iMovie on your iOS device or a Mac OS device. For the app, let me, you know what? Let me bring my iPad and I'll show you the app. Okay, so there's my iPad over here. You can see this thing, you could click a Tilo. So this is how the app looks. As you can see, some terms of use, which everyone of course doesn't read and click yes. It needs, of course, you need to click, has needs all the, you give me the camera. And it needs all those location settings, of course. So I, I won't be setting this right now, it's gonna take a lot of time. But this is technically how the um, app looks. It's just called Tilo. It's, if you do wanna, you know what? I'll link it in the description for the iOS app. But yeah, you will have an Android app as well. Well, let me close this thing. Okay, there you go. And if you're really in, in, into Scratch, which is this programming language, best part, this one even works with Scratch. So that's a very interesting thing. You can actually drones, I mean, program this drone in any language you want. It can be with its own Tilo SDK. You can even use Scratch or you can just Google the IBM Tilo drone um, giveaway, or there you can just sign up for it. Um, of course, the giveaway is over, but you can go there and find out if you can use the Node Red software by IBM, which allows you to code this drone, and it can move any way you like. So, if you're any, if you're a teacher, this is the, one of the best ways to teach your students how to code, because this is not only fun, it teaches you how to like, Gives brings the fun of coding. It brings the fun of driving a drone. It's a really good package. Hundred dollars is pretty cool. Of course, you, I don't think you can drone the. I mean, code the DJI, the big drones, the Phantom ones, but you can code this. So, and if you are really into, and I guess if you there is a possibility if you can code this, you can make it actually follow you. So you can actually click pictures while it's behind you so that's a really good thing about this drone in having image electronic image stabilization is a very good plus of this it doesn't have optical image stabilization which would have been better but again you can't expect much from a hundred dollar drone so yeah it's software based so and it even comes with precise covering which i told you earlier so it won't like shake if you don't haven't coded it perfectly it'll be straight up there and there have been cases where this image comes in a pond, which is cool. So yes, guys, this was the DJI Tilo unboxing. I can't believe I won the giveaway. So this way, come with you. Do not get a charging cable, which is pretty weird. Tilo, that's a negative. Make sure you comment. Um, if you want any uh, have any question about about the Tilo drone, because I know many of you may have. I probably not answer many of those. So make sure you. Do tell me in the comment comment section down below. I will show the answer. Thank you. Bye bye.